Hey, hey Libra, intuitive soul coach here with your February 2023 bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Libra, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so Libra, I'm getting a lot of positive energy here from your reading, so I'm excited to see what comes in for you. I'm actually getting the sun. I'm getting a wheel of fortune energy as well as a lot of cups, a lot of water, a lot of emotion. So you're feeling really emotional this month because you may be quite sensitive. You may be an empath, you may be a healer, or you're just noticing that things are changing on a cellular level within you. You're ascending and your circumstances are evolving as well. So I'm also getting here the name. Uh, it could be a place or it could be a, a business. It could be a street. Please take it as it resonates. They're giving me Katarina. Katarina, if that is a name or again a business, please take it as it resonates for you. Katarina, really pretty, pretty name as well, Libra. So let's just get the rest of the cards here before we dive into your reading. I do feel that a lot of you are, you're filling your heart up this month. You may be opening up to new friendships, new love interests. If you have a career or a business that you absolutely love, you may be heading into a direction where you're feeling appreciated for your hard work. And if you are not in a situation that is ideal, Libra, or one that has been causing a little bit of challenges for you, I feel like your heart is opening up to a new way of doing things, new perspectives. I'm also seeing the hanged man. Uh, let's see what else is coming in here before we flip over. There could even be some celebrations because they're, sh they're showing me the threes as well. So celebrations coming in here. You may be connecting with other like-minded individuals. I will say here before I pull, a lot of signs have been getting major uh, tower moments, wheel of fortune, judgment. So there may be something going on on a global level in the month of uh, February, but there could be a time to renew renew your energy renew there's the sun that i was feeling i love this for you and this can be about renewal you also have the judgment here you have the death card very very powerful again a lot of signs have been getting many major arcanas we'll dive into the categories here of health wealth and abundance please see the disclaimer in the description box below wow you have the hierophant one two three four major arcanas already there is coming together, so this is two of cups. We also have the seven of cups, and then you have two bonus cards. Wow, you have the star Libra, and then you have the ace of wands. I mean, beautiful. This is exactly what I was tuning into here for you. Uh, award, and we do have the tower, really powerful. The tower in this card isn't necessarily the same as the tower uh, in tarot. This is about earning power, building yourself up instead of something crumbling down, which may have certainly happened for you, Libra, in the past. I feel like this is more of that award type of tower, achievement, earning power, growth. There's heart's desire, which I was tuning into as well. So you opening up that heart chakra and you also have the heart chakra card. So I'm loving the synchronicities here. And then we also have a uh, beautiful feather, canoe, and fire. So let's dive into your reading here. All right, so when it comes to health, Please see the disclaimer in the description box below, but we're going to take a look at the heart chakra. So again, a lot of you are really opening up to heart health. You're making decisions from the heart this month. Even though I don't necessarily see the lover's card, we do have the two of cups, which is about coming together. So there could be partnerships, love interests, collaborations. This is about passion projects that bring you happiness, bring you um, desire, as well as a love for what you do, Libra. And that's what I was picking up on. Now, when this heart chakra isn't aligned with 
the rest of what's going on in our world. When this heart chakra is a little bit blocked, now this is centrally located in the heart region, it can manifest as anxiety, depression, heart palpitations, a heart attack, stroke. It can be even back pain behind the heart region. Uh, it can be about bitterness, forgiveness, resentments, things of that nature. When we don't feel loved or we don't feel appreciated with what we're doing, that can manifest here in the, the physical within that heart center. I don't feel like you're having those issues. You may have in the past, but if you have been, again, please seek medical professional guidance. But if you have been, I feel like there's a light-hearted, quote, quote, light-hearted energy coming into the mix where if you felt heaviness, almost like an elephant is sitting on your chest at times, Libra, that is about to... Um, about to open up. There's some new things coming in here for you. I really love this energy. Now, I'm also getting here solar plexus. Solar plexus, even though I don't have the solar plexus card, uh, you do have the sun and the judgment, 19 and 20 showing up here. So this is about second chances to really grab hold of your happiness, Libra. Grab hold of your good health, uh, your abundance, this is about you enjoying the success that is coming your way because you also have here, when it comes to health, you have the detox. This is about you eliminating things that no longer serve you or they're no longer aligned with the vibrations that you're putting out there. So you may be walking away from negativity. You're eliminating toxins within the body. Some of you have no desire to put into your body the things that you once enjoyed uh, that may not be good for you, such as caffeine, alcohol, sugars, processed foods, uh, things of that nature, even chocolates or candy bars. I'm just sensing here that those things don't give you as much pleasure as maybe the healthier things, such as fruits or plant-based vegetables or uh, you know your, your warm cup of tea in the morning, anything of that nature. I feel like your body is really speaking to you at this time, Libra. So trust, pay attention because you're in tuned with the body, mind, soul. This is about withdrawing from drama, cleanse, going on a cleanse, a diet, or just releasing what no longer serves you. And that's going to bring about that lighthearted energy uh, within this heart chakra. So a lot of changes coming in here for you, but things that you already knew about because I feel like you are the one manifesting this positive change. Now, when it comes to that solar plexus that I'm feeling as well, especially with this, uh, with the sun card and the judgment. The solar plexus is located in your belly region and this is your powerhouse. This is where you feel you make a difference in the world, in the lives of others, but how you feel and believe about your own self, your own power. This is feeling a sense of empowerment, but also you being that lighthouse, that beacon. You actually have here the star and the sun. When you have these two together, some of you, this is fortune, this is fame, this is getting recognized for your gifts, this is a job well done. If you are wanting to be noticed or recognized in your line of work or maybe in your love life, because you do have this heart chakra showing up here as well, uh, this is about you breaking free from any blockages, restrictions, or limitations that have held you back in the past. You're setting yourself free and this is very positive. It's going to bring in a lot of abundance. Let's see what else we have for health. Now, we do have the Seven of Cups. There's a lot of options for you in regards to health. Now, sometimes we think that if we go on a certain diet, if we do the Mediterranean diet or the keto diet, or we cut out or eliminate, you know, sugars or this or that. So there's so many options out there when it comes to health. Do we seek a, a nutritionist? Do we seek an intuitive, a, a Reiki practitioner, a doctor, a therapist, a coach? This is about you trusting in your, your intuition when it comes to choosing, but make a choice. Okay. Even if you try one thing out, maybe it's a nutritional uh, supplement or an herb, or it could be uh, instead of drinking coffee or caffeine, you may be 
fueling your body with other forms of energy. I'm sensing here that yes, there are so many options out there and you may feel overwhelmed at times, but be open to trying new things, giving it some time to see how it's working for you, whether it is you talking to a therapist or you trying a new supplement. Give it a little bit of time, but trust in what your body is telling you. Just because someone said it's worked for them or they really liked that healer or that therapist or that reader, make sure that it jives with with your energy, Libra. So that's what I'm getting here because sometimes we can certainly have that placebo as well. We can say, oh, this really worked for that person. I'm going to try that. And then we find ourselves up against that blockage or that struggle of not losing weight on a specific diet because again, not everything works uh, the way that it's work for someone else. This is about you trusting and getting in tune with body, mind, soul. So seven of cups energy is about focusing as well. Some of you may feel a little bit of indecisive energy at times. I mean, hello Libra, that can be a, a very fun trait that we have, right? Uh, but I feel that you are deciding to take your health into your own hands and trusting that if you do reach out to other people, for guidance and assistance that you are trusting your intuition along the way. But you're making choices here from the heart, which I really love. Now we also have the Two of Swords. This is about indecisive energy, especially partnered with this Seven of Cups. So when it comes to health, you may be feeling all over the place, Libra. You may say, well, I really wanna eat healthy and I wanna do this and I wanna do that and I wanna go work out and I wanna reach out to this healer and I wanna, you know, you may have a lot of beautiful ideas. You are a magnet for energy, Libra. But sometimes you get a little bit overwhelmed. Sometimes there's just too much going on in that beautiful mind of yours. This is saying just focus on a few of those goals. Yes, you can get to all of them, but it doesn't have to be in one day, okay? So some of you don't burn yourself out. Uh, you may be needing to focus. I'm getting on less strenuous sort of exercise or not putting so much pressure on maybe your body. So take a look at softer forms of healing such as, uh, you know, meditation or mindfulness, journaling, yoga, uh, things of that nature because sometimes we can push ourselves and then we refuse or we don't necessarily see what our body is trying to tell us, okay? I mean, obviously there's a difference between working your muscles and your muscles hurting we understand, uh, but sometimes this can be your body's trying to get your attention through maybe a certain food that you've ate or maybe you have a, a craving. There's a really great book about cravings uh, that actually dive into each and every food group and it can be something that you're lacking on an emotional or a metaphysical level. I'm not sure what that book is called. You can do some research on that if that interests you, Libra. If I find it, I'll stick it in the comment box below, but I feel... Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Cravings. Cravings A to Z uh, is what the book is called. I'm not sure who the author is here, but Cravings A to Z. Uh, but also, it's just about making decisions and sticking to it, whether this uh, pertains to your career, uh, your, your love life, physical, remember, mental, emotional, spiritual health can show up on all different platforms. So trusting in your heart to lead the way because you're an air sign Libra. Sometimes that head overanalyzes situations over and over and over and you say, yeah, but, yeah, but leave out the buts. Leave out the ifs, the ands, or the buts and just make a decision and uh, stick to it to see how your body reacts, but also trust, trust in your, uh, trust in your intuition. Now, when it comes to wealth, Libra, you are going through a major transformation. You are on your path here. This, you have three major arcanas showing up, the sun, the judgment, and the death. This is all about you heading towards your happiness. Now, the, the death card is about transformation. Something may have needed to come to an end in the past or in your present energy. You've been going through a spiritual transition here. This is about rebirth. Don't resist or hang on to some sort of change because sometimes in that judgment energy here, we can judge ourselves, we can avoid change, we may not heal wounds of the past or we ignore our calling. When you do that, you will be in that state of resistance. When it comes to wealth, you have the sun card. This is about unlimited potential. This is about you being that lighthouse, you being that beacon. And something I've recently read and I've shared, I forget which sign it was, but 
I've recently read, which was interesting because I, I had this, this picture in my mind after I said this, which made me chuckle, but uh, lighthouses, they don't go chasing boats, right? You don't see a lighthouse on the water running after a boat saying, look at me, look at me. No, Libra, when you are in that flow of energy, the boats come to you. And that's what I feel is showing up regarding money, regarding wealth, regarding abundance, regarding success, whatever that looks like for you, even though this is the wealth category here, if you heed the call, whether it's through forgiveness, through second chances, through redemption, through an awakening, through a rebirth, when you listen to the calling here, you can change your life for the better Libra and you can bring in more abundance, happiness, and success than you ever imagined possible. You are that lighthouse. You don't have to go chasing those boats, okay? Those boats are coming towards you. And yes, there may have been a big portion of your life, maybe the half, the first half of your life where you were that uh, that caterpillar, right? Because this death card is like that ca that caterpillar uh, and that cocoon turning into that butterfly. I always go back to that analogy, but uh, your first half of your life or many, many years, you may have been the caterpillar, which you may have needed to do what you needed to do to survive here on earth. You may have had to pay the bills, take care of your family. Maybe you were married or you were in a relationship. Maybe you tried to build a business that failed. That's okay. Those are experiences that we have here on earth. But this is all about you going through the cocoon process. Sometimes it's sticky. Sometimes it's messy. Sometimes it's not fun. Sometimes we lose. Sometimes we win. Sometimes we fail. Sometimes we succeed. It's just part of the process, Libra. And on the other side, when you finally realize that all along you've had these wings, but it just had to, to acclimate. It had to take a little bit of time to grow and evolve through the experiences of being that caterpillar. Now you have those wings. Now you're able to really fly and that's what she's doing. And when you're able to fly, you're able to be that lighthouse. So whatever you're doing in your career, your uh, wealth, your finances, things are really looking up for you. And when we dive into wealth, you actually have the tower and the award. This is about earning power, possibly building a business, making sound decisions. You may work in the corporate world. If you do, this is about being in a position of power, stability, uh, bringing about more stability because you may feel that things are unstable in the world around you. But I sense that with your surrounding cards, you Libra will be okay. Whether you are an entrepreneur, a business owner, uh, retired, if you work in the corporate world, yes, stability may be, instability may be showing up all around you, but you've hit, I don't want to say the mother load or the jackpot and sound way woo woo, but wow, some of you Librans absolutely have. You've invested wisely. You've trusted in your soul purpose. You've come here with a big mission and spirit's not going to allow you to not feel fairly compensated for such as well. Awards are about winning money, payoffs, payouts for your effort, recognition, advancement, professional work, and fame. And you have that sun and that wheel of, or excuse me, the star card. So this is, some of you are getting an award. I mean, this sounds a little bit uh, crazy because I, I don't know if I have some movie stars out there watching, but it's almost like they're showing me Grammys and Emmys, though that type of nomination. So something big. Now, it doesn't mean that you are an actor getting that kind of award, but I feel for you, this is something huge. On the surface, it's going to be different for each and every one of you, but it feels that type of big energy. Just like maybe an actor getting one of those big awards would feel it's something big. It's an achievement. It's an award. They've worked hard for it. That's what's happening here in your world, Libra, when it comes to your wealth. There's something that really feels big and aligned because you've worked hard for it and you're getting recognized. You're getting noticed for that job well done. So pat yourself on the back, Libra. Very exciting energy here. Now, when it comes to abundance, I love this category, and you actually had an extra bonus card showing up here for you. Typically, all the other signs have had three, three, and three, but you had a couple come out at the same time, and it was the star card and the uh, ace of wands. Beautiful. Two of cups and the hierophant. Now, when it comes to abundance... The Hierophant is about you being divinely guided. It is about you being either that spiritual guru, maybe you're teaching others 
how to succeed, how to build their mission, how to inspire others. You may be learning at this time how to commit to your goals because sometimes Librans, we have, a, we have a, I'm a Libra, I get it. Sometimes we have a hard time committing because we have so many ideas and we want to stick our fingers in all different pots and then we only do a little bit here and a little bit there where uh, we don't want to miss out, right? We don't want to miss out on the the human experiences that we chose to have, but I feel whatever this is, Libra, you're committing to it. It could even be a relationship. It could be a marriage. It could be your career, your path. It could be committing to going back to school, right? You're being divinely guided towards a higher calling at this time, Libra. Listen, trust it, and know with all of your soul and all of your divinity here that this is the path here of happiness, true loyalty here with this dog and she's also holding a rose within that book so i feel it's about love and you're ruled by venus you're ruled by love okay and so this is about you making sure you're aligned with with doing what it is that you love being with the people that you love and if you're not things are definitely shifting for you here because you may feel like you're in that cocoon process which again can feel sticky but what's on the other side of it is much more beautiful than you could have ever imagined i love this some of you are being called to maybe even take a course to teach a course to put yourself out there in the limelight. Some of you may be starting a YouTube channel. For others of you, you may be starting to vlog or capture your experiences to share them with others. Perhaps you're being called to use your voice and write a memoir or a book. Perhaps you've been called to create an oracle deck or a tarot deck. There's a lot happening here for you, Libra, and it's all coming together. You have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is about soulmate energy. But soulmate isn't just in the form of intimate or romantic love. Soulmate is someone that's on your path, part of your soul tribe that's come here to bring about this sense of coming together, belonging for a purpose, for a reason. So it could be you partnering up with another individual uh, in business, in love, in family, in uh, your health as well. This is about important partnerships. It can be about romance, absolutely, but I feel like you're finally healing some sort of past trauma and you're now willing to let love come in. Because we all, we've all been there, most of us anyway. We've been rejected. We've been abandoned. We've had our hearts broken. We've been through experience where there was unrequited love or there had been, again, loss. But what's happening now is everything is starting to flow because you've been working on uh, working on this, the things that no longer serve you. You've been, again, in that energy of detox here, eliminating toxicity and eliminating the things that bring drama into your life, okay? Negative drama, that is. I do see a lot of positive, dramatic experience showing up for you, but go big or go home, Libra, absolutely. Uh, this now we have the star combined with the Ace of Wands. I love the star. I love the sun. You have beautiful major arcanas, and I really enjoy the higher... I, I mean, I love all tarot cards, uh, but this is about you being able to heal on deeper levels than maybe you've ever been able to heal so far here on Earth, and that's powerful. This star card is about inspiration, hope, guidance, positivity. This is about you reaching for the stars, shooting for the stars. But not only that, you seeing them, being, being able to manifest them here in the 3D world, right? Because you're committing to them here and because you're partnering up and you're opening yourself up. Some of you have had to do everything your whole life alone. You've been independent. Maybe you're an only child or you've had to look after siblings or parents, but you've been that old soul. You may have even been told that at times, Libra. This is about a new sense of vitality because you've healed some situations that were difficult for you and now you're able to experience a new beginning, a new sense of purpose. Feeling inspired, feeling passionate, chasing those dreams and setting those goals that are aligned with your life purpose and path. I love this. Libra, powerful reading. Again, one, two, three, four, five major arcanas showing up in the month of February. So some big changes uh, showing up here for you, but nothing unexpected. I feel like you already know because you are the one that's been putting in the work. 
Now you have here three cards. You have Feather, which is all about divine guidance. You have here the Hierophant, which can be about divine guidance. So some of you may actually be traveling to a spiritual guru or a spiritual place. You may be finding an intuitive, a coach, a psychic, or a healer, someone who can teach you how to open yourself up to living this life of flow, going with the flow instead of resisting or having these blockages that at times set you back, Libra. For others of you, you're receiving messages through signs, synchronicities, numbers, songs on the radio, or uh, feathers even. A lot of you are getting animal messages this month as well. So you may be seeing feathers appear from almost out of nowhere. Uh, perhaps you have a down comforter or a pillow and boom, you're seeing a plethora of feathers on your bed. I mean, yes, there, but, but I'm not, I'm sensing as well that even if you don't have a feather a comforter or a pillow or anything like that. It's like you walk into an area and there's a feather and you look around and there's no way that a feather could be where it's at. So pay attention because I'm sensing that a lot of you are getting messages from, it could be feathered creatures, whether it's owls, whether it is uh, blue jays, cardinals, hawks, crows, uh, it could be any winged creature. It could be any animal in general because I am getting that animal vibe. Uh, but for a lot of you, it is feathers. And some of you already correlate feathers with a loved one as well, if that is you. Uh, I'm getting a name here as well. Um, Simone? Simone, if that is your name, a family's name, a an ancestor's name, Simone, you may be getting a feather. Please take that as it resonates. You also have Canoe, Upcoming Adventure. This is exciting. I'm all about adventure, Libra, and I feel like you are as well. This is all about exciting times ahead. It is about you maybe planning a trip, some sort of travel, a vacation, or there is something exciting that you are looking forward to. Maybe a concert, maybe an anniversary, a birthday, a, a get together, a date night, an event. It could be something small, it could be something large, but you're excited about it. And then lastly here, we do have ambitious goals. Whenever I get this card along with the cinnamon stick in this de deck, uh, this is about the Ace of Wands, chasing those dreams, feeling that ambition, and you have the Ace of Wands showing up right here. A new sense of vitality, a new sense of purpose. You're hitting those goals, and wow, this is a spark of inspiration. When you see this match here, sometimes we have to, you know, when we when you think of having a, a matchstick or a packet of matches, right? Sometimes you have to strike it many different times, and in, in order to get it lit and I feel that it's not only lit but you've uh, you've put it on to something else maybe a, a fire maybe a bonfire where something is blowing up in a positive way here for you so I do feel a magnetized energy I feel like you've put this fire into something so whatever your goal is I feel like you've already built upon it it's already uh, attached itself to something that's growing and it's it's creating more and more of a spark and I'm getting not just a small spark but again like a bonfire maybe you're going to a bonfire as well or maybe someone just lit a fire or maybe you're listening to this while you just lit a candle something of that nature you may even be benefit uh, you may benefit from doing some um, some meditation work where you look into a candle if that's something that's unfamiliar to you you may want to look that up Libra because you can absolutely channel and uh, help open up your third eye by using fire. So really powerful energy. I love this reading for you, Libra. Lots of great changes. If this resonates with you, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for being here and listening. Lots of love.